We're rolling? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, a live stream will be archived at Ustream and Justin. Mm-hmm. Yep. And we got Joe Bannister, Whistle, from inside the Treasury Department, rolling with us. And we are about to drive by and bullhorn Der Bilderberg. We've had a tropical depression hit the coast. So we're here in Virginia, what was once the United States here in occupied territory. And we're going to ride over here to Der Bilderberg and bullhorn them a bit. Because believe me, they will hear this inside their little nests. So the drunken globalists that are inside this confab will know we're here. And tomorrow, uh, I have called on listeners to start calling in the morning. This is something we were going to do and wait, but we've been too busy and haven't done it. Last year, a guy kept calling the hotel room at like 6 a.m. and playing me clips of David Rockefeller, and it was him. Four years ago. I keep saying a year ago. It feels like a year ago. Four years ago. And what? I, I keep saying a year ago. It feels like a year ago, doesn't it? It does feel like <laughs> yeah. a year ago. It feels like a year ago. Four years ago. 2008, Obama and all them. And I'm very tired, folks. I went and ate a big dinner earlier. It's like I am out for the count. But now I forget the point. The point is, what was I talking about four years ago? The oh, yeah. This guy's calling me going, I'm calling David Rockefeller's room. I'm like, yeah, right. So he calls back. He's playing me clips he's recorded from Canada. He's scared to give me the clips. He goes, watch, I'll call him all three-way. So he calls, calls the front desk, and David Rockefeller goes, I told you I can't talk. And he starts asking him questions about the New World Order. And I go, hey, David, really, we don't want your world government. He's like, uh, this whole conversation goes on about two minutes. Roller hangs up. It was incredible. And I said to the guy, I said, can I please have that? And he said, I'm scared. I'm in Canada, but you ought to be doing this. So here we are. Westfields Marriott, the number's public. Everybody on that list, call them in the morning. That's when they're going to be there. Call them in the morning. I Rockefeller. So I'm like, is this really Rockefeller? It sounds like it. I'm telling you, man, you can call over there. Well, 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 you got recordings of that? Give them to me. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm not going to do it. You need to call. So it was like, it's not like a teenager. And then he calls back and gets them on the line again. While I'm on the phone at the hotel we were at. Where did we stay at, Richard? Well, we stayed at the Hilton. The Hilton. And, a different Hilton than this one, though. I, we stayed at Hyatt Place over here. We stayed at the Hilton. We stayed at Westfields Marriott. Those were was a hilt. Now, for me to bullhorn, I can't. I guess you can turn around the other way. Good. All right, I'm not going to bullhorn right here with the cops because you can't, they can't even hear you anyway. So go ahead and turn around. Look at the police. Oh, good job. These people are out there. Let us know if you find that statue. Okay. The answer to 1984 is 17. We salute you. We'll be back in a minute. Great job. Rockefeller scum, we are aware of your criminal activities. We are aware of your new world order. And the people of this planet will not stand for your crony, bully insider garbage. The people are awake. Economy and use your giant government state to pose as a saviors. We are part of your new world order crime syndicate. You will be defeated, Bilderberg Group. You will be defeated. Humanity is awakening to your crime activities. You will be defeated. Rockefeller and Quadrix, we are well over your 
and criminal activities. Humanity is waking up to you. The answer to 1984 and your tyranny is 1776. Humanity is awakening. I'm going by. Humanity is awakening to your new world order, globalist, and humanity will defeat you. Right, they can't hear us here. We'll just circle back around again. Okay. Anyway, it's just Jericho. Uh, Jericho, exactly. I was thinking about getting everybody to like, walk around it seven days straight and the whole thing will collapse on them. And they, they got all snakes behind them. They've got all their, like shark teeth, layer after layer of little criminal minions. Our job is to expose their system for once and for all. But again, tyranny came as a foreign army. They learned how to have a corporate infiltration. And that's what we're exposing. That's what we're fighting here. And we're doing it successfully. Uh, you have any comments? Well, it's great to be out here. It's funny to be just driving by and doing it. The drive by Infobomb. No, it's like waking up. Link letter filling in. It's more fun, isn't it? Right. Drive by media, as they call it. Drive by Blue Warning. <laughs> you see that? Hey Reeves, how you doing? You having fun on this trip? Oh yeah, I'm having fun, having a blast. It's great to be out here busting Bilderberg chops. And we will continue doing it despite the uh, rain they've ordered up, despite the tornado warning they've ordered up. We're still going to be out here to... Uh, I keep saying, is Richard the only one that can drive? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we got a lot of people that can drive, so... But they, not, they, only Richard has not had a drink. <laughs> I have like one line after that food diet. I'll feel really tired. Richard is the designated liberty lover. Designated <laughs> driver, that's right. And I'm uh, more than be the designated driver on this trip as often as we need to make it. And hopefully uh, one day we won't need to make it. There you go. Yeah, believe me, we have to do ourselves in coming and confronting these globalists. But we have to, we have to address the shadow government. It's absolutely got to be done. Just some nighttime strafing, you know, that's what we're doing. It's very fun. I'm going to come back one more time and I'll jump out with these folks that I told them I would, and then, and then we'll go. Right now, let's go ahead and drive by. Those are true patriots right there, battling the globalists until the end. We're coming back, don't worry. New World Order, we are aware of your criminal activities. We are aware of your world government. We are aware of your new world order. And no amount of technocratic garbage is going to protect you. No amount of bureaucracy. No amount of police state. No amount of fluoride in the water. No amount of vaccine, mercury, and cancer viruses is going to stop humanity from exposing you. You are criminals and we know it. Your world government is defeated! You will fail, New World Order! You will fall!
nice little uh, strafing operation. It'd be a shame if a beast didn't sleep well tonight. What is that? That's you stream. It's a That's Ustream it. video, yeah. the great me yawning as the great <laughs> hot belly commander. There is Richard Reeves, ladies and gentlemen. No, it's not filming me. That's that's what you're watching. Oh, no. Okay, Rob's got me. You go. Oh, yeah, yeah. Here's the camera. I see, right I see. Okay. <laughs> Folks, it only happens once instead of just protesting all the fake protests they put out in the media with a bunch of puppet ministers. This is a meeting they don't want you to cover. Does it mean Bilderberg's the end all be all everything? No. Look at all this taxpayer paid for police stars. I mean, just think how the government has set up a system where we supposedly work for them and our rights are trash. Well, I'm not going along with that. I'm not putting up with that. All right, Aaron can keep streaming when I get out. Mm -hmm. uh, Jacobson, I think the camera can handle a little water, can it? Is it phone? Yeah. So you jump out with me. All right. We like wet dogs out there. Sure will. You want an umbrella? Uh, you can get out with you if you want with an umbrella for minutes, but I'm I'm not above getting rained on. We'll get you back so you can get something to eat, Joe. Well, I can monitor you with this, so whenever you're ready for me to come by, let me know via the all right, I will. screen. Lord knows all the police are watching. Oh yeah. folks that have seen them watching it like we don't know they're watching we want them to watch are, are you gonna get a ticket Richard just for dropping us off I don't think so I think we should be all right here. well I mean they're they're home watching the football game now I mean, you know. is this the street yeah this is it. amazing But if you want, it's probably just like right down before it or something or after it. So you're not like right there in the rat nest. The thing is, I, I looked it up. That's not illegal. They're just making that up. Man, that's shameful. But to the average person, it's fun to think you're on the winning team. You know what I mean? Like, I'm with the power of living. I'm a winner. No, you're not. I don't know. I just don't get it. I've always been embarrassed when I have the advantage over somebody, even if they're in the wrong, it feels bad to do something to them. I can't imagine doing bad things to good people. Man, that, that is like the worst feeling on the planet. Even imagining being people that serve evil. Just I just absolutely made a stomach turn. I cannot even imagine being a person like that. And it's not like I'm some goody two shoes. You know, I got my own problems. You know, I like eat too much, I lust after people, you know, I don't cheat on my wife, I still have bad thoughts. But I can't imagine like willfully being turned over to evil. All right, guys, let's jump out. Here we go. Aaron, you stay with it. All right.